All right. <clears throat> hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Licks and Tears of Dark. Thank you so much for tuning in. We're gonna do you versus them. Okay, so we're gonna figure out their energy first. And then we'll go with yours. <clears throat> if you guys haven't already joined the fan, please go ahead and smash that subscribe button and the bell right next to it. That way you don't miss all more energy updates from me. All right. And also you guys can go to my uh, store or get a reading at fixitarrowafterdark.com. We're on Scorpio. One more for Scorpio. How do they feel about Scorpio? And please keep in mind that the energies can be flipped. Okay? Meaning you can reverse them as well. Alright. So, let's get started here. Uh, we do have the Princess of Discs. Okay? So, this person right now is uh, definitely, you know, feeling some type of way here okay they literally have a thirst for you they, they're yearning for you okay it's like they see everything that you have to offer all the seeds that you planted in life everything that you've been through and they definitely see this light shining around you um you definitely have a lot going on as far as like you know your financial status your mindset things of that nature it's like they have a very clear vision when it comes to you. It's like this person could have even set plans to be with you, like, you know, bigger plans, okay? I feel as if they just want to learn more about you, Scorpio. It's like you have this mysterious energy about you, so it's really time for them to collect their resources, and they're really trying to figure out who is Scorpio, you know? Who is this person? And it's so easy for them to get lost in you and, and, and lost in this connection, um, to pursue you, okay? It's like they've been really reframing everything. And from the looks of everything here, you know, it's like you set your sights forward on how to expand your life, and this person is definitely trying to find a way to expand their life with you. Look at that. They see you as the empress. Mm beautiful lovely sexy just has so much abundance charming and you know when the empress card comes out honey baby you know what that means the empress has everything that's like goddess energy right there okay the empress literally is like you know they see you as like like you exude sexiness male male or female um, it's like you have this nurturing type of energy about you. They can also want to get you pregnant, too. This is the fertility card, card here. <laughs> or they just want to birth something with you. <laughs> they just want to enjoy themselves with you. They love being surrounded by you. Oh, sorry, guys. You know, 4th July is coming up, so it's a little ruckus around my house. Um, it's like they they really want to just enjoy every moment with you it's like you're very fulfilling to them you know it's like you really give a lot of respect to them as well and and to other people and they see how much you pour out it's like you're this uh, nurturing type of soul who really cares deeply about people that are around them okay it's like you really it's like you also remember how to really nourish yourself like you take care of yourself I mean shouldn't we all <laughs> but you know yeah they definitely they're feeling the vibes ace of swords here it's like you guys always speak the truth you're very honest you don't sugarcoat nothing you tell them ex everything exactly the way that it is and they like that about you you bring lots of clarity it's like you have a lot of power and with them they feel as if they might have a breakthrough with you okay it's like you cut straight through the bullshit and they see your potential. They see the potential in this connection. Um, they see that you have a, a like a, a razor sharp kind of mind. And after experiencing some mental blocks, this person definitely, you know, could at one point just experience the best of the best with you. 
Yeah, and they definitely, you know, they, they're going to allow themselves to really enter your energy. With Scorpio, you guys are very secretive. So you're not going to be telling all kinds of secrets right out the gate to this person. So they're definitely seeking some more truth about you. I feel as if they're just so curious, okay? Especially with the Nine of Cups here. So when I see the Nine of Cups here in the flip, it's just giving me the vibes of somebody that, you know... <sighs> They might think you're very impatient with them. You know, it's like this person may have some unrealistic expectations on maybe they can't get to your energy. Maybe they can't get to you. Maybe they can't. It's like you're not allowing them in enough. Um, but they have this vision and this plan, you know. It's like you may leave them frustrated or upset. Or they see you as frustrated and upset at them. But it's like they got to put in some work okay so they might have done something to you so this could be a past energy um take it how it resonates okay maybe it's the attitude it's kind of the attitude that you walk around with you know they see it as like they better come with it or come correct or nothing at all kind <laughs> of energy like and you just know how to say no you take care of yourself you know when to say no um, you just really, it's like you, you tend to their wounds too. Like you really do tend to their wounds. It's like you come to this person, like if they're in need or in help or, um, if they're going through a situation or something like that, you actually really, you know, you make something out of nothing and you're very compassionate. Okay. And you do things in moderation. So it's like, they enjoy how you just live your life. Uh, with the Hierophant card here in the flip, it's giving me a sense that this person is definitely, um, they, they really, they doubt, you know, they have a little bit of doubt. Pluto energy. Um, they might see you as overcritical sometimes on certain things, but I think that's just delivery or how things are said. You know, or maybe because they can't get what they want from you. So now it's like uncomfortable situation that you guys are dealing with here. It's like, it's, it's, it happens over and over. It's kind of hard to release your energy. I mean, who doesn't want to be around Scorpio energy? Okay. Um, but maybe they feel as if you have so much to do. It's like your, your schedule is always packed. You can't see them when you want. It's like, wait a minute. I need time to get ready. I mean, you need to set a date, a time. You can't just pop up and pull up whenever you want to kind of thing. And they want to be able to do that. Um, also too, you could be surrounding yourself with people that have, you know, a, opinions about the situation. If you do talk to somebody about it, they're going to have opinions and maybe you told them about it. You know, some, that could have been a situation. Okay. Um, and so they just they're just trying to check in with their thoughts and things of that nature we do also have the prince of cups here as well so uh this person definitely is you know they see you as uh they see you as very romantic i think very they like a, a seducer a lover we already know this scorpios you guys give off that you elude that sexiness it's like you know the Nine of Cups is very, I mean, the Prince of Cups is very in tuned. So, I just, I just feel like they just adore you. You know, there's chemistry between you guys. It's really undeniable. Um, and they, they just kind of want you to shine their light. They want you to shine their light on them. Um, they see you as a person that could wear their heart on their sleeve when you openly express yourself, you know. And so that separates you from the pack. And you got some serious game. <laughs> um, get ready to receive some love from them. All right. Let's see how you feel about this person. Uh, which deck should I use? This one. Let's do the other deck. I think this is the deck. Well, actually, no. Okay, yeah, we'll use that deck. This is what we used in the last you verse then. So this is how you feel about them, Scorpio. So this could be anybody that you're thinking about or dealing with. Maybe the 
current person and ex. Because sometimes, you know, you might be wondering about that person, you know? So we can kind of put all the pieces to the puzzle together. Alright, so how does Scorpio feel about this person? Okay, starting off with the Two of Pentacles. You may feel as if this person is, is juggling their finances, um, you know, all of their resources. It's like... It makes it hard for you guys to come together and see one another. Um, you also may feel as if they have other priorities besides you. It's like they don't make you number one and you're not number two. So what you going to come in and what you going to do? <laughs> like this person also too could, you know, just be working a lot or they just it's like this person could work a lot but not really spend time with you or try and make time to see you. It's like they put work first or money first. So you also see it's a lot of ups and downs. Like you want shit to just be wa like wavy, water wavy. Like you want it to flow. You don't want it to be some kind of hardship like to where it's, you know what I'm saying? To try and adapt to this person and their energy and what's going on. Uh, also too, we did have the two of wands that came out as well. So... Uh, some of you guys can feel as if this can progress into something else despite if they did something to you or not you feel as if maybe you are able to move forward with planning it out and re like it's kind of like dissecting how are they now kind of thing like if they were to be consistent with their energy they can really pull through if they're strong enough to do so if they have the strength to deal with you because you're going to have questions you're going to need motherfucking answers okay <laughs> um but you do have the courage, or you see this person as having the courage to, you know, step to you, okay? And they could overcome some obstacles, and maybe y'all can work something out. Also look up 2-2 two, two as well, so. Yeah, we do have the Emperor card here in the flip. You could be dealing with an Aries or a Fire sign. Um, Aries, Sag, Leo. This person, you see them as very rigid, um, not very flexible with, like I said, time and energy, right? This could, person could be very impatient. Like, for example, if you want to go out and do your thing and be you and do you and not answer your phone, not reply back right away, this person gets so irritated. You see my, you see me call you, you see me text you. Why do you take hours or the next day or something like that? So they could be very excessive with that. Um, this person could also be very controlling or dominating of your energy, like... You know, that's good sometimes, like that authoritative type of uh, energy, like, you know, when you're in the bedroom where you got to take care of business or the bills or whatever it is, but just like on a all day kind of basis, like every day, that's draining, you know? So this person definitely could be draining your energy. It's like they abuse their power um, whenever they're in your presence or whenever they talk to you. But we do have the lover's card in the flip. Uh, hold on, Scorpio. Let me get my cat. person as being like inconsistent I'm just getting inconsistent like it's like you need to put everything into me honey you need to let me know how you feel if you love me if you want to be with me this person I'm getting impatient again yeah they're they're just they're irritated at the fact that they can't control your every move or control when they want you to do something or react to something um so that's probably why you guys disconnected or maybe that's why you are in a disconnection with them and out of harmony and it's so much imbalance. So you may still talk to this person like, hey, you know what I mean? Or, you know, it's like you're cordial with them possibly, okay? But you definitely feel the misalignment with this person. 
Yeah, a lot of cards in the flip. <laughs> yeah, you see, see, this person has poor planning. It's like they come out of the blue, or they they call when like you, they already know you you talking to somebody else, or they might think you talking to somebody else, or it's just like they're very indecisive. You see, they're very indecisive, manipulative as well. Um, definitely abusing their power with the magician card here on the flip. Definitely. Um, you do feel as if this person does have some type of, I don't know, they could be a little cynical. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> a little cry cry, you know. Yeah. It's like, you know, this person can have everything and they, it's like they do have it, but it's like they don't know how to use what they have to get what they want, if that makes sense. Especially with the Ten of Pentacles here in the flip. Yeah, something, something's going on with their money too. So this person could be coming to you to ask for money or for favors or, you know, it's like, they could be lonely too, or you see them as a lonely person. Like, I don't want you because you see me on the last of the totem pole or I'm the second person or third person on the list to come contact, you know what I mean? This person could also, you could have a family with them or they could have family, like kids that were with somebody else as well. So that could also have a problem too be a problem of why maybe you guys disconnected decreased maybe you guys found out they had a family and kids and you didn't know about it that could be a situation um yeah you see you see them like investing any more time into this is definitely a poor investment yeah definitely a poor investment So that's it for the reading here, uh, Scorpio. Thank you so much for tuning in. If this video resonated, don't forget the energies can be flipped. Please go ahead and smash that subscribe button and the bell right next to it. Um, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.